Well there, Blade Gang, we've got a brand new knife brand for you today. And uh, this is called Trevisa. It's either Trivisa or Trevisa. T-R-I-V-I-S-A. But you'll see that in the title. And this kind of uh, comes on the heels of Sativian and Estec. I don't know what it is about the S brands and Shielden. So some of the, uh, I guess you'd call them off-brands or non-name brands, meaning they're not Best Tech, they're not Civivi, they're not We, etc. They're not uh, Benchmade, so on and so forth, although we're speaking Chinese brands here. So kind of comes on the heels of those other three S brands that we hadn't heard of previously. I must say, we're going to get into the knife in just a moment, I was impressed with the packaging. So um, what we got was the uh, little warranty and uh, instructions or whatever you want to call them. We got a, a very nice pouch. We got a very nice microfiber cloth. <clears throat> and a little tag that came on the knife with uh, that it was passed inspection here's the outer shell of the box here's your product information and uh, there's the box the uh, presentation box with the dense foam inside and everything magnetic cover so uh, they put quite a bit for $45 on Amazon, by the way, quite a bit into uh, the packaging. Pretty amazing. Whereas um, some of the others like Sativian and Aztec just came in uh, this kind of black, uh, see if I can find it for you here. Yeah, <clears throat> coming back. Came in that. Okay. So, uh, a lot of effort went into the packaging <coughs> to kind of give you a good presentation. But let's take a look at the knife because we're already two minutes into it. It is a Sandvik 14C28 and blade, which is a uh, fine steel. I'm going to see if I can give you a little blurb on it later. It was uh, one of the only steels recently made specifically for uh, the cutlery industry for knives, so I'm told by Knife Steel Compositions, which is an app that I use. This is not a small knife. And I've got some specs for you that I took off the Amazon page that looked very legit. I'm going to give them to you in a minute. But let's take a, a gander at this. This comes in three versions. So first of all, this is the Lynx. O3, and that's going to be in the headline, so you'll see that name. This one is of black G10. It comes in black micarta, and it comes in carbon fiber with a Damascus blade. And I thought that the variety was interesting. I think the highest end model in that series is... 60 around there and this is uh, down by the lowest around 45 so it's coming in with the uh, S-Tech and the Sativian not maybe quite as high as the Shieldens real nasty Warncliffe blade on this guy and it is thin at the tip as you can see it is amazingly thin and a high grind. Uh, it came through very, very sharp. Gave it a little bit of stropping just to get rid of some of the roughness on the edge. Got a nice relief there for the liner lock. There is weight relieving inside. See if that shows up on camera. I'll pull the light out. <clears throat> a 
There we go. Got uh, skeletonizing on that side and a little bit near the end on the lock side. Exposed liners, black G10 backspacer, deep carry clip that is not transferable to the left side, unfortunately. And they didn't bother with the flat screws. I don't know if flat screws cost more than <laughs> dome head screws or not, but the clip is inset into the handle slab, which is kind of nice. Pretty thick liners. And the engagement there is really only about 25%, maybe. Very smooth on bearings. Definitely bearings. You can see them. And a thin blade stock. That's 2.5 millimeters. Speaking of that, let's run through the specs. The overall length from pommel to point, 8.46 inches. And this will be popping up on the screen. The blade is 3.66 inches. The blade thickness, as I said, is only 2.5 millimeters. Handle thickness is thin, 0.47 millimeters. So pretty thin handle, under a half inch. And the weight is only 3.85 ounces. It is sharp, pointy, and thin, no doubt. In the action, just breaking in because this came in like last night on the Amazon truck, is uh, while it's not drop shutty because it's a light blade, it is quite smooth. And the lockup is dead solid. They did a good job on this one. I would say, you know, it's a step above some other recent ones from Sativian and Aztec. Just a little more work went into refining it. Certainly the uh, finish is nice. And a really nice swedge. I think the design is, uh, is outstanding. And they pulled off that swedge almost all the way down to the point. I think that's a nice thing because the point would be even thinner if that swedge met the point. Get my point? You got lots of room and er good ergos on the handle. Got a little bit of a finger groove there, part of the uh, liner release. Rest of your fingers fit smoothly here. And you got the pinky can fit into this little area here. It depends upon how you hold it. Um, you can choke up a little bit, but be careful because um, you've got a uh, basically a sharpening choil there. And they did angle that edge away, which is good, so you don't have a point that sticks out towards your finger. So yeah, you can choke up a little bit. I'd rather not. You got a decent small run of jimping there. You got a flipper tab that is uh, pretty muted, not too tall, and it is jimped. So fires every time, although this has been easy to fail, as you can see. So the detent's not real strong, but you know, with just a light pull on that light switch, it swings out very easy. I like their logo too. That kind of neat, kind of like a triple T. I don't know what the T is for since the, uh, oh, the T is for Trevisia. <laughs> Treviza, Treviza. I was talking S knives, so I was expecting it to be an S. That's a T8. Couldn't loosen it. It's probably Loctited pretty good, but, you know, it, it comes through centered perfectly while they give you a little bit of safety margin here which I feel that they all the knife makers should so that if you're running your finger over here this is definitely one of those points that you do not want to have catch because it'll keep going so let's compare the Trivisa Trevisa with a few of the usuals here we have the Griptilian 
And it's going to come in longer than the Griptilian. Get the perspective right here. Oh yeah. So we've probably got about a half inch longer on the blade and uh, overall okay, about an inch. As I said, it's a longer knife. What did I say the specs were on it? Well, I said it was 8.46 overall, so eight and a half inches. Let's put her up against the Ontario Rat 1. And we have a knife that is um, slightly shorter. Very slightly shorter than the Rat 1. So comparable size to the Rat 1. So let me know what you think. It's um, a new entry. Again, another one of those Amazon knives uh, that is Chinese manufactured. You may or may not go for that. We got all the usuals, the standard uh, deep carry clip, weight relieving, lightweight, well under four ounces, and very sharp and pointy. It's not one that I would use as a screwdriver for sure. You got to take some care with that point, both uh, in protecting yourself from uh, accidental jabs as well as breakage so there you go and let me know what you think again don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe this old sword signing out we'll be back soon